Some of you may know that earlier in my career, I worked as a production sound mixer for cinema. Now, nowhere is mic selection more critical than in capturing dialogue for feature film. There's so much going on around the actors, and it's imperative that the dialogue capture is as clear as though you were standing right next to them, yet matching the perspective of the shot. As a sound mixer, it was my responsibility to understand the requirements, have the proper tools in my arsenal, and to apply them appropriately. This is where I learned the nuances of microphone selection. The first consideration is the microphone pickup pattern. The key to all this is that the more aggressive the pattern, the more it affects the tonal quality of the sound. So we want to be as close to omnidirectional as is possible. We aren't concerned with the pickup area, but we are concerned with the areas that are not picked up. We simply match those areas with the places we do not want sound heard. Now, as an example, in a conference room, we want to pick up the people around a conference table. So, an omnidirectional mic centrally placed might work perfectly. But as you can see, the coverage of an omnidirectional mic will not reject sound in any direction. But if the room is lively, or if there are specific areas that we need to eliminate from coverage, we might want to use multiple microphones to reject off-axis sound like this. Now you can see that only the area with the participants is covered. The other consideration we need to account for is physics. Now as you know, the farther away from a mic you are, the lower the volume is. This is known as the inverse square law. Now simply put, for every doubling of the distance away from the mic, the volume decreases by 6 dB, which is half the volume. By looking at this diagram, it tells us that the most substantial decrease in volume is closest to the microphone. So this means that a voice gets rapidly quieter as it moves away from a mic. If you just turn up the mic, you pick up more and more unwanted ambient sound in the room. We also need to try to match the sound with the picture. You would not expect that the sound of two people talking would be at the same volume in this shot as it would be in this shot, or this shot. If it was, your mind thinks something's wrong. So if you see distance, it's okay to hear distance. But if the two don't match, you've done something wrong. Now in a movie, you want the sound to change with the shot. But in a Zoom meeting, as an example, you don't expect that. But you do want to make the voices match the point of view of the camera. Now, if you remember these principles, you'll always know how to select and place a microphone that's just perfect for your application. <laughs>